Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here. Tomorrow's the big event, NXT TakeOver Rival. I believe it's called, or Rivals, I don't know. But, really excited. It's got a great card, it really does. And I'm sure it's going to be better than, you know, most of the WWE events that have happened in the past few months. So I'm really excited for it. NXT always comes through. Like, in all honesty, even some, I've, even if the main events aren't always the best matches on the card, it's still better than anything the WWE's done in a while. So I'm looking really forward to it, and I'm going to give you my match predictions right now. So no particular order, just how I got it off the website. Now, Hideo Itami versus Tyler Breeze. This match was just announced. It wasn't even announced on NXT. They just announced it on Twitter. But... Um, I'm going to go with Hideo Itami. I'm going to say that guy, I forget his name, Marcus Louis, I believe. He's, he's, I keep going like this because he's bald now. And, uh, they were showing how he's, um, like when Tyler Breeze made his entrance, you know, he was in the background. The announcers are like, oh, what, what is that? You know, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like he's finally going to come back and screw Tyler Breeze because Tyler Breeze embarrassed him the last time we saw him. And yeah, I, I don't know where that storyline's going, but I'm going to go with Hideo Itami winning this one. Um, after that, Bull Dempsey versus Baron Corbin in a notice qualification match. Uh, Baron Corbin, I just really, this is the third time these guys have faced off. Notice qualification, I bet, will make it better. But I don't see Baron beating Bull twice in two minutes, both times, and then having him lose the third fight. So I'm going to go with Baron Corbin. I'd be very surprised if Bull Dempsey won this. <laughs> Number one contenders match, Adrian Neville and Finn Balor. Uh, I remember hearing Finn Balor got injured. I don't remember seeing that it was very serious. It doesn't sound like it. They haven't said anything. But hopefully he's all right and ready to go. I'm really excited to see what his face paint's like on uh, the event, the big event tomorrow. But I, I could say Adrian Neville. I could see it being, you know, Owens versus Zayn versus Neville maybe. But I really do want to go with Balor. I think he's, he's up at the top right now, and I think he's going to win that title quick. So I'm going to go with Balor. <laughs> NXT Tag Team Championship match, Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy versus the Lucha Undergrounds. Yes, Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy are the champions. They scored a huge upset win over Lucha Dragons. I'm just guessing Kalisto's going to the main roster soon. This is why they did that. I'm going to go with the current champions, Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy. Hopefully it's a good match. Usually their tag matches aren't that great because you have the Ascension. No, nah, they, they didn't have the titles though. Yeah, I mean, you know, Lucha Undergrounds when they beat the Ascension wasn't, you know, the greatest match. And then Vod Villains versus Lucha Underground, Lucha Underground, Lucha Dragons wasn't that great of a match either. But it's they're, it's exciting tag matches. They just aren't the best thing ever. But I'm excited for it. it should be good. NXT Fatal Four Way for the Women's Championship: Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch versus Bailey. This match could go to anybody. Like in all honesty, I really think it could go to anybody in this. Um. I don't know. I, I, I've i always gone with Charlotte losing the belt because I always think she's going to go up to the main roster, but it never happens. But, you know, I could say Bailey, you know, Becky Lynch, she's, I don't know about that one. Charlotte could retain, very well retain. But I see the most going out of it, Sasha Banks. I say Sasha Banks walks out as champ. And maybe Bailey, you know, maybe if Sasha wins, her and Becky Lynch can do a storyline. Charlotte can do it. I don't know. But I'm going to go with Sasha Banks on this one. The final match on the card. The big one, Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. This match is going to be freaking amazing. I am so ready for it. You know, I could very well see Kevin Owens winning the title, getting it really quick, and basically ruining Sami Zayn's, like, dream and stuff. But, I don't know. I just feel like Sami Zayn, him losing it so quick would really kind of suck. But, it could, I mean, that would make Kevin Owens that much more of a heel. So, I'm still going to go with Sami Zayn. I'm going to have Sami Zayn walking out as a uh, champ. Or maybe it's a disqualification or a crappy finish. And then we have another, or another rematch and bigger matches just keep going. Because apparently it's supposed to be a really long feud. So I'm excited for it. I'm going to go with Sami Zayn on this. Let me know your predictions in the comment section. Can't wait for this. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 Rocks. This is going to be a great event. NXT TakeOver Rival headlined by Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. What could be better than that? So, thank you for watching. Let me know your predictions in the comment section. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.